part two of my moving vlog. So we're moving some more stuff today. I also am getting my internet installed at my apartment, which is why we're going there. So aggressive drivers even at 7 a.m. Like, anyways. <laughs> We have to be there really early because the bell guy for some reason is coming at 8 in the morning. I requested 12. They chose 8. I was like, all right. So, 8 a.m. it is. But today should be a very productive day. We have a bunch of stuff here that we're going to put in. I'm going to, hopefully we're going to build my bed and set up my bed like completely with my mattress and all my bedding and my rug underneath. I got to wash the floors. I got my box that if you guys watched the last moving vlog where I was missing my utensils, we have that box now, so that's good. They weren't lost. I will update y'all in a bit, but welcome to part two. Let's get moving. Good morning, mother. <laughs> Apartment. We've just been putting some little stuff away. I brought up the one box with like my utensils and whatnot. So the dishwasher is on and we are washing all of those. Quite happy though because they did take the stuff off my balcony. It was like had these metal poles on it before. So they took those off, so that's good. But my blinds are still broken. Not good. Hopefully they will fix that before I actually move in because I cannot open my bedroom blinds. I mean, it's better that they're shut than open. But anyways, we're just waiting for Bell. Don't know when he's gonna get here. They said eight to 12, so it literally could be any time between eight and 12. <laughs> but we put some more stuff away. I put my bowls, my fancy bowls, because I don't know if I can wash those ones, so they're just up here for now. I'll hand wash them when I use them. My little sugar bowl is here, because obviously this is where my coffee machine is gonna go. This is just for my tea as well. And it's so cute, I love it. My little vintage sugar bowl. I don't know if this is gonna stay out here. Honestly, I'm probably gonna keep it in here and then when I cook, I'll just take it out because I don't have that much counter space. My mom's just taking the tags off my towels and that's basically the game right now. <laughs> okay, so we brought up a bunch more stuff, but I do have this bin I got for my hair tools. So we're gonna see how many hair tools I can actually fit in this bin. <laughs> I did bring them all. We have my blow dryer. Actually, I feel like I have an outfit. I don't have this in the curling iron. And then my straightener. That's this annoying magic cord. And then this is my brush. Ew. So much hair! And then I have these like, extra accessories for it, but I don't know where those are gonna go. We still don't think they're gonna fit in here. I just have to go in the back. But basically, this is actually pretty good. It fit everything. And now we're gonna put it in my bathroom, drawer, and have everything be all organized. So this is what my bathroom is looking like so far. I have a bunch of towels here and here. And then in this drawer, we have my hair accessories, tools. I still have like an opening here, so I might put extra something. Don't know yet. Or just keep it empty for when I need to put stuff in there. Maybe like candles, bath stuff. I don't know. And then in here, empty, but I ordered organizers for these two compartments. So this will have all my makeup and my skincare organized, and then two face towels there for if I need them. Obviously, this is where my toothbrush is gonna go. This is basically empty, so I'm gonna store like skincare stuff too, and hair care and whatever in here, I guess. Also, I think I'm gonna do the, like a medicine cabinet in here. So like my Tylenol, that kind of stuff will go in here too for anything like that. Shower curtain is up towels. Oh, this fit, which is nice. My over the door hanging thing. So when I have a wet towel, I can like hang it there to dry and I can hang my bathrobe on there, which is good. And then everything else is looking pretty good so far. Bar stools, nail pumpkins. I have a candle that I brought. Actually, it's never been lit. I think I was gifted this. Maybe by Carolyn? I can't remember. It smells good though. And then 
I put on my dish soap in here, a little vase, put some flowers. Though I feel like, could you put real flowers there or would they die? I don't know either. I don't know if it gets enough sun. You can put some fake dried ones. That would look nice. Yeah, that's we true. We can go to that store on uh, Queen. Yeah. That was a real flower right there. No, they have dried ones. Oh, did they? Yeah. And then I got my fancy bowls, some water bottles. I think I'm gonna move those though, water bottles. And I think I'm gonna keep my water stuff all in here, just in the back and keep my bowls up there. And then this will just be plates. Cause I think that's just more functional. I also wanna reorganize this side a bit and I'm gonna move the Christmas mugs all the way up because really I don't need them right now. And I'm gonna bring down some wine glasses for like, you know, having a casual glass of wine during the day. During the day. <laughs> I met in the evening. <laughs> 12 p.m., wine time. Looking good. These are all really organized now. I got some lighters in there, that kind of stuff. This will have all my utensils. I have so many reusable straws, it's insane, but I love reusable straws. And I also have some chopsticks in here. And yeah, it's looking good so far. You know what I still need to bring from home, Mom? My always pan, I keep forgetting to bring it. Oh, the green one. Yeah, because that's my last pan that I'm bringing. And you know what else I kind of want to get too? A bigger cutting board, because now that I know that I have the space here, I think I could fit like a large, because these ones are both small. So I feel like I should get a large one too. You know what you should do? What? What you could do is get one of those cutting boards that have the things across, so you have when you're not using your sink. Oh, like cut there. Yeah, you have an extra countertop. Mm, it might fall. You didn't do no, the, the ones that I keep. Oh, that have the ends? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Oh, so my sugar bowl. So cute. Okay, so we laid out the rugs in here. I feel like they look a little weird just because the couch isn't in yet. So it kind of makes the room look a little bit odd. And also this is warm and the floors are kind of cool toned, but I feel like once I have my couch in and my TV stand and we just kind of like blend everything together. Also this room is like a weird shape because this is angled. So that's kind of odd, I feel like, with the rug layout because you have to like put this side straight, but then on that side it looks crooked. Overall, could definitely be worse. My mom put the couch pillow out here and I feel like now I kind of see it more with my like blue couch. The pillow will go on there with my cream pillows to tie in with this. All right, the Wi-Fi is all set up now. And okay, I'm just not the smartest ball in the box because my blinds are not broken in my bedroom. They fixed them, I just didn't pull hard enough. So now my blinds are open again in my bedroom. Lots of natural light. I'm just gonna swift from my bedroom. We're gonna go downstairs and get the rug, roll that out, and then we just need to build the bed, put the mattress on the bed, make the bed, and then that's good to go. And then I need to get some lunch or something because I barely ate this morning. I got this breakfast sandwich from Tim Hortons, guys. And um, halfway through eating it, I realized that part of the egg in the sandwich was green. So, Gross. stopped eating that. I'm not sure if I will have consequences from that. <laughs> um, so far I feel fine, <laughs> but if I vanish, and you don't see me for the rest of the day, you know why? <laughs> Let's set up my bed. This is what I'm most excited about. Hey. Okay. I know. Okay. Let's go. My mom's just cleaning everything, nitpicking. What are you doing? Picking, picking. All right, we got my bed in. My bed. <laughs> my rug. <laughs> in the bed up. So yeah, that's there. Right now, we're trying to just get it so it doesn't fold up here. So I'm just putting some stuff there to weigh it down for now. I'm absolutely starving, as I said. So we're gonna go to get some lunch somewhere around here, eat, and then we'll start making my bed. I cannot do anything longer without any food in me. We are back at the apartment. Aiden's here now. We have a helper. Yay! And we're just moving more stuff. We've got another round of boxes. And I forgot to tell you guys the mishap that happened. The bed that I ordered off Wayfair had two broken pieces. So that was a large fail. And I couldn't assemble it. So now we have a mattress on the floor. It's fine. <laughs> 
They're setting me the new parts. Oh yeah, I have to put all those dishes away. But thank you for reminding me because I actually completely forgot about those. And they all need to go away. And that's good. Clean dishes. But yeah, we're gonna unpack some more boxes, put some more stuff away. And yeah. Yeah. Shots. Exciting. Shots. Oh, mom's got the shot glasses going. <laughs> stuff away I did some organizing in my closet it kind of looks I just squished my finger it kind of looks like a shit show like please ignore this I don't know what's happening but my dresses are here pajamas this is where all my jeans are gonna go this is all my workout tops workout pants this is the problem I own way too many workout clothes that it's ridiculous I also have shorts on that side this is like sweatpants that's not even all my pairs so they're gonna have to go in here too lounge stuff this is like casual tank top shirts which maybe i should hang up i don't know then in here i have my bottoms i have some sweaters like four shirts and then i have more shirts back there sweaters here and then this is just like empty space for the rest of my clothes that i still have to move beds looking like this we didn't really hi <laughs> my helpers and then here is this looks the same the pillows, those are my outdoor pillows. We also, <laughs> this was the biggest fail. This rug I thought was bigger. I don't know why. So, yeah. <laughs> we need to figure out that situation. I might get like another one, we're thinking, like just two beside each other. I don't know if that is a terrible idea, but it's all right. So now we're gonna go get food because it's like quarter to eight and we haven't eaten dinner, so. I will see you all tomorrow because we're moving some more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to my apartment and look at the natural light in the morning. I love it. That's something that I live for. I'm gonna have my coffee on my couch. This natural light will come in and just warm my soul. I don't know if I showed you guys when we moved this plant here. I think I did. But we brought my coffee machine here that I need to put away and another huge box of clothes right here that also needs to go away. But we do have like a couple more things we need to bring up beforehand, but it's looking cute already. I'm obsessed. Good morning. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we got my coffee table in. It needs a bit of a wipe down, but looks cute. It looked better with the actual sofa in there too, but that's fine. And then, yeah, it's coming together. I'm just gonna put away some stuff. I'm gonna put away my coffee machine and all this other stuff. So, yeah, time to unpack. I just threw all of my pods in here because I still need to get a container. Come back. Look at this. <laughs> OCD. <laughs> Organization. Look at this. This is why you leave me late though. <laughs> Makes life easier. It's better that way. I didn't like my pile. That's so cute. <laughs> We're just putting away some shoes now. And I put my Keur Keurig. It's not a Keurig. I'm not a Keurig person. I'm an espresso girl now. <laughs> my espresso machine in the corner. It looks like a like an actual homey kitchen with an espresso machine. That's how I feel about coffee machines, you know? It just finishes off the space. <laughs> I love it. All right guys, we're back at HomeSense because I don't have enough hangers for all of my clothes. So we're gonna look for hangers. I'm also gonna look for mixing bowls and like a larger cutting board because I'm kind of using it to hide one of those telephone outlet things that's on my counter because it's not cute. So that's the game plan. This is Aiden's first time at HomeSense. <laughs> So guys, we set up my little patio furniture. It looks so cute. So the set is from Lowe's. The pillows are from HomeSense. I have two different rugs. Don't judge that situation going on <laughs> down there. And then my candles from HomeSense. And what else did we do recently? We brought the art in. 
obviously Saran wrapped, it's not up yet, but we have that. My TV is here. I also got these like little cutting boards. I just got this one from HomeSense when we were there earlier with Aiden and stuff. It blocks like the cable thing for the phone, which was kind of ugly. So we did like the little cutting boards over here instead and it looks really nice. I have this random vase from my Nana there. All this stuff down here. And then my bedroom looks like this. So I just got this blanket for the end of my bed, which matches my pillow. Obviously my bed will be off the ground eventually. And I have two nightstands, which will look really nice. And then my mirror is gonna go on this wall. Closet situation right now is kind of insane because before I used to have a dresser that had a ton of storage and hanging closet. And I also used to put away my summer clothes while now kind of like everything's in here. So I have all of this situation and then this situation in here and then this side has some dresses and whatnot and my laundry and my vacuum it just it's kind of a disaster but it's it's a functioning disaster also we moved my coffee table here it's just kind of like in the middle of all the other stuff but yeah my couch is gonna go right here next week when i fully move in my credenza thing will go here with my tv on it I think I'm gonna put a shelf on the wall up here and then hang like my plants and stuff on there. And yeah, everything's basically done. I just moved like a couple more things in here. My fridge has some condiments. What else do I have? Cleaning stuff. My always pan, just like pans in here. And in here we just have some condiments and that's literally it. Oh, and a bottle of wine and a chocolate bar. We're really doing big things up in here. Oh, my hair, guys. I've been having the, like, look at this situation, okay? I don't think anyone's ever looked better than me. Ever? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not looking good. I don't know how people look cute while they move because I definitely do not. I think I'm gonna end part two of the moving vlogs here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Stay tuned for part three when I'll fully move in. And big shout out to Aiden for being the heavy lifter the past two days, carrying everything. I MVP, love him so much. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. And when I do, I will officially be fully moving into my apartment, which is so exciting. And yeah, love you guys so much, bye.